What's up guys, bringing you a quick video real quick just to kind of make an announcement. We've got all the pumps off on the tank too right now. I just got done, um, I had some corals that have been in here that uh, got knocked free from all the hermit crabs that I put in here. So I just had to put down some epoxy and I used some super glue so I had to turn the pumps off because the pumps kept knocking all the corals back over again and I was getting super pissed. <laughs> but um, the announcement is, is I actually made a Simwanko2468 um, Facebook page. Um, it's, I think it's a really good idea. Um, I see some of the other guys on the reefing YouTube community that have a Facebook and uh, just make simple, simple little announcements like, you know, picking up a new coral or something. Um, easy to let you guys know what's up instead of putting up a video. And, um, you know, it's a pain in the ass editing these videos sometimes. Um, unless it's one that I just make and throw up and don't do any editing. But, um, anyways, <clears throat> I wanted to put an announcement or, uh, you know, show you guys some things that I picked up today, which is super awesome. I picked up this amazing clam right here. Uh, nice little Maxima. It has like one of the most unique patterns I've ever seen on a clam. So I picked him up today and I finally got my hands on a really nice uh, purple Stylophora. So I'm real excited about that. I've been looking for a Stylophora for a while, but I have not been able to find the right one until today. And there it is. And then um, <clears throat> I got my hands on an amazing Aussie Gold Torch. Uh, the other Gold Torch that I have, which is this one right here. It's an Indonesian uh, gold torch, so it just has a gold stripe going up the back side of the tentacle, so uh, it doesn't look as fresh as that one. That one is sick with it. I love that one. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the Facebook page, uh, the link is going to be down in the description of this video. Um, go over to the page, like it, follow it, whatever you want to do there. Leave comments down there, leave some questions. I really want to do another one of those Q&A videos. It was real fun. Um... I gotta catch one of these clownfish, man. The other ones are just beating the hell out of it. But, uh, you won't let me catch them. What are you gonna do? But yeah, um, check out the Facebook page, guys. There's really nothing going on it right now. Um, I gotta do some more stuff to it. You know, add some photos, some more, you know, storylines or whatever the fuck it is on Facebook. Um, but it should be pretty cool. I, I look forward to uh, interacting with some of you guys a little bit more uh, via the Facebook. Um, more so than just doing it through the comments on YouTube and stuff like that. Um... So yeah, and I think that'll be a really good outlet as well for leaving me those questions. Um, so here's this tank on the 65 tall. Uh, everything's doing good. We got the nitrates down. I don't know if I posted the video. I made a video, but I can't remember if I posted or not. Uh, but the nitrates in this tank were <whistles> through the roof. Um, so I did a uh, almost a 50% water change on it. <clears throat> um, there was there was uh, no pneumonia or pneumonia ammonia, no nitrite. And the nitrates were just like through the roof. So we did that water change. I added a, um, well, you can't see it in the filter sock now, but I added one of those um, nitrate absorbing sponge things, and uh, that seems to have helped a lot. Um, <clears throat> so additions to this tank, I put in the uh, one frag of uh, Aikens just to see how it does right now. I don't want to start moving all my Aikens over. And this is a double of like, I got three more of these kind of Aikens as a colony in the big tank right now. So um, added all the zooanthids. The zooanthids seem to do well in high nitrate tanks, so I'm not worried about those being in here. They've only been in here now for about 20 minutes, so they're starting to open up. Looking really good. Some of the ones that weren't opening up in the big tank are actually opening up in this tank. Um, I always seem to have, it's really weird, when I have like a completely mixed reef like this one over here, I seem to have issues with zoanthids. But if I put zoanthids in a tank all on their own, there's no issue. It's really weird. It could be, you know, the, the little chemical warfare thing that goes on with these corals. But I run an ass load of carbon in this tank, so I don't know. Who knows? But uh, this one is cleared up real nicely as well. I mean, you can see straight through it. Um... Well, for the most part, anyways, I just got done moving rock around and stuff, but, uh, uh, they got some mushrooms down there, some recordias, there's a, uh, purple Yuma, a couple heads of orange, and a head of this really green Florida Rick. Um, those are getting sold today, the guy's on his way to pick them up right now, he won them in an auction that I put up. And then I also put in a two-head frag of bicolor hammer and to this tank. So, um, should be good. I'll be updating the Facebook quite often because that's so easy to do other than, uh, the only other option we have is, you know, uploading through YouTube, <clears throat> which 
we don't always have time for. So I'm really excited about this Facebook page, guys. I'm um, sorry if you can't see the tank that well. The blues are on right now with the whites. So we're running that 100% blue and the 50% the on the white side. So um, if you can't see it, if it's a little washed out, I apologize. But check out the Facebook page. I'll be able to put some awesome pictures down there. So the link is in the description for the description. The description. Wow, am I messing this up? The link to the Facebook page is going to be in the description of this video. Go check it out. Later.